this is Dr. Ragini from Jata Fertility Center, Gachipoli, Hyderabad. Let's know what are the different types of surgical extractions of sperm. So first when we say surgical extraction, who are the uh, males who need surgical extraction? First thing, what are the conditions which get down the sperm parameters is first thing when we do a semen, semen analysis and when there is azoospermia means there is no sperm. When we confirm the semen analysis done after four to six weeks after the first sample, with three days of abstinence when these two samples show there is no sperm then we label the male as a azospermia so what are the different types of azospermia that we see is an obstructive azospermia and a non-obstructive azospermia so in an obstructive azospermia is mostly a congenital form of uh, blockage usually sperms are produced in the testis passed into the epididymis and then into the uh, spermatic cord ejaculated through the penis uh, so if there is any type of obstruction at any of these passages it can be a primarily a congenital or a secondary because of some infections so in this type what happens is that the production is happening but because of the blockage the sperms are not able to get ejaculated out so this is a obstructive azospermia the success in obstructive azospermia is much more when we say success is that surgical extraction from the usually we opt for PESA, P-E-S-A, percutaneous epididymal sperm extraction where the success rate for obtaining the sperms are little higher in an obstructive vaso. The second condition is called as non-obstructive vaso where there is certain other conditions like hormonal imbalance or because of testicular failure or because of genetic conditions like Y chromosome microdeletion or turners or infection or any surgeries and also any chemo radiation. In this the sperms are getting down in number because of the imbalance which has happened because any of these condition then the production of sperms are less and also by then the ejaculating also the sperms may, may be zero azospermia well, how do we uh, confirm that whether it is an obstructive vessel or a non-obstructive vessel the first is that both in both the analysis the seven parameters will be zero the next coming to uh, ultrasound imaging in an obstructive vessel so will give us the picture of certain seminal physical dilatation in this there is a scope that we might diagnose it also by truss so there are other imaging modalities that we opt to confirm obstructive vessel whereas in a non-obstructive vessel the imaging will be absolutely normal but sometimes there may be a decrease in the size of the testis the volume of the testis might be shrunken next coming to hormonal parameters Parameters, it's absolutely normal in an obstructive vessel, whereas in non-obstructive vessel, the hormonal parameters are imbalanced. Uh, it depends upon the conditions like whether it is a hypothalamic or a testicular failure. So based on the hormonal imbalance, we can actually tell whether the, how, how severe is a non-obstructive vessel. And next type of genetic analysis is by Y chromosome microdeletion, which is not done in an obstructive vessel, but when we do it in a non-obstructive vessel definitely we can interpret the success of surgical extraction and how much is the uh, tendency or how much is the success when we get the sperms out of surgical extraction so based on the parameters we opt whether the person has to be uh, subjected to which type of test and also will give us whether how much is the success when we go ahead with the surgical procedure so what exactly is the surgical procedure is that the person has to come fasting he is given under short general anesthesia the testis is exposed uh, in percutaneous epidermal sperm extraction is that it is very simple uh, a large bone needle is taken and the sperms are is, uh, aspirated through a uh, syringe this is a very small procedure and the success is much more when we tell about success is the sperm production or the uh, sperm aspiration is higher when we do a pizza.
that when we in a non obstructive vaso when we do a tisa uh, the tendency of getting this perm differs so it depends upon the other parameters like hormones the imaging the volume of the testes so based on this condition we can tell whether they have to go on which type of extraction and the next important and the more invasive type of extraction is a micro tisa where the entire testes is exposed and with the help of high magnification the largest tubules where the sperm probability is present is then uh, aspirated so different types of surgical extract uh, aspirations and extractions are available but before we go we have to subject the couple which is best for them and the success behind doing the test post tisa how is it managed mild bleeding or pain is experienced by the male but with little amount of analgesics and basic support to the testes it is usually subsided and um, success depends upon other parameters such as egg numbers women's age how much is the her hormonals and how is the hormones of the male how is the sperm obtained when we do an aspiration so these are all the parameters when we look uh, to know the success rate to know more visit us thank you